Now, other local arts groups are also taking their performances online. One group has seen audience numbers increase by a factor of 100 when compared to on site performances. As safe distancing measures empty out theatres, some have thought of going online. But with theatre best experienced live, those like theatre company Pendremonium have feared their digital versions might fall short. This soon proved to be unfounded. Pandemonium saw 40,000 viewers for last weekend's run of its play online, with some viewers hailing from the US and UK. That's in contrast to around 400 for each physical performance. Another theatre group, Wild Rise, also saw a 20-fold increase of about 8,000 viewers for the premiere of its play online last week. The response to it was, was so incredible that... Um, We've decided to actually um, stream it for, for a couple of more days um, from this coming Wednesday to Friday. Um, and this time we've had the opportunity to include captions for uh, the deaf community uh, because there were, there were lots of requests uh, for that as well. So, so we've decided to, um, to restream it so that more people can get to see it. Yes, I'm going to show you. But going digital is more than just streaming plays. Industry players say it's also about creating a form of content that's suitable for digital playout while getting the copyrights cleared to display this online. Wild Rise and local singer Joanna Dong add that performing online means being social. And that's why Joanna takes song requests while live streaming on Facebook with fans from both Singapore and Malaysia. Hi Kat, hi Kelvin, hi Andre, Daryl, Tristan. I take a lot of requests that they usually leave in the comments. And so it's all very spontaneous. It's that element of uncertainty that keeps the audiences kind of interested and engaged. It's also, interestingly, more personal than when I'm performing on a stage for a big audience. Um, even though in person I can sense them, I can feel the vibe, I can, you know, I can see their faces, but online I can read their individual comments, I see their names so I know who they are. She says the experience has been eye-opening, with numbers rising more than 40 times to about 22,000 viewers, most recently for her online performances, as compared to those held offline. Performing digitally, however, takes a lot more coordination for those with bigger groups. We managed to gather 55 of our musicians and we distribute our e-score uh, via our digital network to individual musicians and they have to practice on their own and uh, we set a deadline for them to submit the part digital score to us and uh, we have our concert productions head to put all the music together and draw them into an orchestra piece and this is how we make use of technology and while no virtual tickets are being sold as yet, some, like the Singapore Chinese Orchestra, are hoping to convert their online audience to on-site viewers. And that's to sustain strong interest in local performances beyond the COVID-19 pandemic.